Do you have many thoughts in your mind during your meditation? And you feel like, oh, it's really difficult to meditate. In this session, I will talk about one of the meditation methods that is very effective to eliminate the thought in your mind. This meditation technique we call g a s i n a or sometimes we call a visualization technique. That is the first recommendation meditation method in the Buddhist scripture, ancient scripture, and is very effective all the time. So when we talk about the g a s i n a or visualization, there are many type of g a s i n a g a s i n a is mean focus on the meditation object. It's like you imagine. Meditation object, and when you imagine the picture, the mind come back to stick with the picture, with the object. In the old day, people use many type of object for meditation. Sometimes they use the clay for meditation. They use the water to the to be the object of meditation. Or some people light up the candle and see the candlelight and close their eye and meditate. And the picture of the candlelight is at the center of their body. So this is what we call g a s i n a or the object of meditation. So how to do the g a s i n a meditation? In this session, I will show you one example that we call g a s i n a Earth Element Meditation. We use the earth or the clay to do meditation. So the first thing you need meditation object. In the old day, uh, the the monk or the people who practice this meditation, they will use the pottery clay. And they prepare the clay, mold the clay, and make the clay in the in the form like a big dish, a big dish. The diameter of the dish is around one foot, and the thickness of the dish is around this size. I think maybe like a half inch. Can you imagine? You have the dish with cre- the clay dish. And the thickness is uh, half inch. And how to do it? They put the clay, the clay disc, in front of them, and they sit, and they take a look at the clay disc. And then, when they remember all the detail of the clay disc, and they close their eye, imagine the clay disc at the center. And the mind stick with the c r e d i t If they forget, or the c r e d i t disappear, they open their eye, take a look at the c r e d i t again, and then close their eye again and meditate. Sometimes they start meditation. Even on the time that they mold the clay, they make the clay, they feel the earth. And then they remember the feeling during meditation. Use many sensation. If you can use as many as you like, the the mind will remember everything, and the mind will stick to stick to the the meditation object more. But in the modern day, we have a lot of object. You can buy a lot of things from Amazon. So, in the modern day, sometimes uh, for my personal, I use the crystal ball. Let me show you a crystal ball like this one. Maybe bigger than this, maybe smaller than this. You can use anything. 
But for me, I use the crystal ball. So when you meditate, imagine a crystal ball at the center of your body. And sometimes, when crystal ball disappear, I take a look at the crystal ball again. And then when I remember the shape of the crystal ball, the picture of crystal ball come through my eye, to my to my mind. So when you take a look at at the object, the mind don't have any distraction. So you can uh, come like back and forth like this. It will cut down the distraction in the mind. And when you touch the crystal ball, you feel the shape of the crystal ball, and the feeling come through your skin to your mind too. When you meditate, this feeling stick together with the crystal ball, with your mind. And then when you take a look at the object, you remember the object. When you close your eye, the object show up at the center. The mind stick with the object at the center. This will change from kasina, or the, the meditation object, to the nimitta, or visualization. Visualization is to imagine the object with your eye, with your mind. So when you meditate like this, oh, crystal ball show up. Oh, we so happy with crystal ball. Crystal ball disappear. No worry. Open the eye. Take a look at the crystal ball again, and then close the eye again. Continue with the crystal ball. Crystal ball disappear. Take a look again. And when you do like this every day, you will get used to with the technique. You will master with the technique. And the crystal ball will show up any time when you meditate. The mind think of one thing in one time. When you have the meditation object, thought cannot come in. So it's very good to cut down the stream of thought in the mind. And if you can do more and more, you get used to with the object. For example, crystal ball. Next time when you meditate, try to expand the crystal ball. I like to expand the crystal ball to cover my body, and I feel like I sit down inside the crystal ball. I think this way is my favorite. It's much better than imagine crystal ball inside, but it depends. Our mind is different, so let's try some object. Select the object that you like. Imagine at the center, and take a look again if it disappear. But when you use the visualization, make sure that you feel relaxed and comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, you can change to the other method. No worry. And when you have the meditation object, you get used to with the meditation object. Your mind stay very comfortable with the object. You feel very relaxed. You have the two component of the first channel. And then when the mind is clearer and clearer. More and more refined, you can feel more and more happiness, more and more inner peace from inside, and your meditation will have the big progress. Hope you enjoy the meditation talk. Let's try uh, the k a s i n a technique, the visualization technique, and let's see how it go. If you have time and you have the resource. Just tell me in the comment. I like to to hear from you. And the uh, next session, we will meditate together in the guided meditation with the uh, Kasina.
Hope you enjoy the Dhamma talk and continue improving your meditation.